Hi, I'm Eva Schmidt, Diamond Ambassador from Canada. I'm Jessica Hogendorn, Sapphire from Michigan. And I am Jennifer Lowen, Emerald from Texas. And so Jessica is a GAPS practitioner, master herbalist, a naturopathic doctor. And so she is the perfect person to ask our question for this video. And the question is, how can we get through detox? Like, run us through, what is detox? Um, what are factors that can play into it if we're f experiencing major detox in our first initial weeks or months of plexus? What can we do about it? We just want to pick your brain on the subject. I love this subject. It was kind of a joke in the community that we lived in um, that I was the detox queen because <laughs> <laughs> I was always having people detox. Why? Because if we're sick, you're not going to have healing without detox. All detox is, it's not a bad word, it's an exciting word. And that's, again, what we talk about. How do you look at things? Detox is exciting. Why? Yeah, right. Because detox is healing. Uh, what detox basically means is getting rid of toxins that made us sick in the first place. Oh, that's good. So, I know. <laughs> Simple, yes. If we do not get these toxins out, we won't heal. So mm -hmm. detox just is a word that summarizes a variety of ways of getting those detox those toxins out. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things is uh, that I ask people, well, how long have you been taking Plexus? Um, and what are your doses? Because sometimes, if you're like me and Jen and I, um, we are the people, we heard about Plexus, we dove in the pool. We're all the or nothing. Ball, all or nothing. <laughs> and so we would have had more detox initially because we hit it with all guns blazing. There was nothing left. Um, <laughs> So sometimes we need to cut back on those doses. If we're taking too much and our body is getting rid of stuff too fast and it's not able to get it out fast enough, we can feel kind of icky. Right. So sometimes you need to lower the dose. That's true. Sometimes, though, you need to up the dose and help the body get rid of it faster. So again, mm -hmm. detox and how you can and deal with it is kind of adjusting those doses. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is how much water are you drinking? And so often people tell me, I drink lots of so water. So important. That is yes. They say that, and then it's like two cups when you actually... I know. Eat. Yes. <laughs> and so one surefire way to know is you weigh yourself. Not fun, but you weigh yourself. <laughs> and you drink half an ounce per pound of body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, 75 ounces. Measure that out into a, a container. And so you visually can see that you know you've gotten that down at the end of the day. I always tell people, add a cup or two more because that's what you should drink just to be healthy. But when you're detoxing, you want to dilute toxins and get them mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So add a cup and then measure that every single day. Then you know that you're getting enough. Right. Um, another thing is, is how many bowel movements? A lot of people don't like to talk about this. We talk we, about it all day long. Every day. With everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because it's really simple. If three cars go into a car wash, you want <laughs> three cars coming out of the car wash. If those three cars do not come out of their car wash, where's the other car? Where's the other car? <laughs> right. And what happens is that car wash gets so full, it's not usable. From years of cars yes. not coming out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so if a train goes in, a train needs to leave the station. So if you eat a meal, so I'm all about analogies. If you eat a meal, uh, you need to have a bowel movement mm -hmm. within an hour or two. Most and people so, think one per day is good. No, but where's those other two meals? Exactly. It's a full exactly. train station. So that is where BioCleanse comes in and you need to, that helps to get those cars moving. And so you're going to have to adjust it because some days the cars will just fly out of there. Maybe you're taking too much. Yeah. And just back off a little bit. Right. Don't quit. Because right. yes. those cars need to get out. But maybe right. you want them going out a little slower. So then adjust, again, adjusting the doses. But if you eat three meals a day, you need to have three bowel movements. Very good. Not negotiable. To healing. Because that's a, one of the biggest ways that toxins get out. Those toxins that made you sick, they need to route out. And bowel movements have to happen to get those out. Let me interject here. The people that I have had who have had the most severe detox are always the ones who are constipated and specifically even if it's been years and years that way. Yes. Because there's so many backed up toxins and, and it's kind of like this. You're taking your supplements, your body's doing its job, plexus is doing its job, the cells are letting go of more toxins than usual, but they have no place to go. Yes. So you have more toxins circulating <clears throat> in your system now than you did before. Yes, and that's why you're gonna, yeah, right? exactly. Yep. You could feel worse unless they actually have somewhere to go. They have to leave the body. So we want to dilute deal. them with the water. We want them moving with the bowel movements. Exactly. And uh, the, the another thing, the biggest thing that we've talked about in other movies that we've done is diet. Um, if you're having donuts and a coffee for breakfast or frozen waffles or toast, um, your diet is going to contribute to your detox. So where you get your fiber is not from grains. It's from fruits and vegetables. And you want to mm -hmm. get things moving. And Dr. Natasha, um, one of the doctors who I trained under, in healing the gut, she said, make your food slippery with good fats. Mm -hmm. Slide them on out. Mm -hmm. So that's that is good. one yeah. of the ways. Yeah, that's good. So advice. what are some other things we can do, add, that you would recommend that will make it 
go by faster than de detox? That's a great question because, you know, sometimes we're in there and we're just done with it. We want to get this going. We want yeah. to help the body move out. So what are some of the things that you can do? Well, up until about 50 or so years ago, enemas were huge. The, most mm -hmm. people had them hanging in their bathrooms, the, yeah. an enema bag. Mm -hmm. In the hospital, they were mandatory for a lot of issues. What that does is that helps the body. It's like a dump truck coming and you load the trash on, it carries them out. The, the, the toxins can just flush out. So that is a good way. It'll often stop a headache on the spot yeah. um, because... So it's not something scary. No, no. And you get used no. to it. Yeah. You can get rid of... How many toxins, like in one enema, that would take you how long? How many days to get rid of? A like lot. Days. Yes. Days worth. I've even heard like somebody having a fever or sickness that they yes. can feel better instantly by just... Because so very often the fevers, the headaches, the lethargy, the just not feeling good is from an overload of toxins. And mm -hmm. so when you take that garbage out, the garbage bag is clean. Makes okay, sense. And yes. what else? We got? Another thing that is really simple is with our water that we're talking about is getting in a habit of juicing a fresh lemon into your water every day. Mm. I even two anyway. or th yes, I even <laughs> two or three lemons because that helps the kidneys and the liver. Those are the two of the biggest filtering organs. Um, it helps flush them out. So it's kind of like going into a dirty house and sweeping it up, picking up the trash. That's where and get in the habit. It's simple to do that. Another thing you can do is pour chlorophyll, um, quarter cup of chlorophyll into your water and drink that throughout the day. I like chlorophyll with peppermint oil. Mm -hmm. One other thing that I tell people that they can do in their water that they're drinking every single day, and guys, this is inexpensive, is a pinch of real sea salt. Yeah. Your Himalayan, um, your pink salt. Yeah. Those are ways that you can do. Um, another one is that I have people do, and I'm kind of known for again, is the liver flush. It maybe costs you 10 bucks, but it can save you thousands of dollars. But another thing that where it does, where it's so beneficial, is your liver is one of your biggest detox organs. And so a liver flush is not a cleanse, it's a flush. It's like, again, going in and sweeping. Different. Yes, so easy to do. Um, it's sweeping, and you can flush out toxins that would take the body months maybe to work off. And mm -hmm. we've actually done these. Mm -hmm. and no, we've done them. them. Yes. All of us have done them. I've yes. done like 13 probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My kids have done them because they're so simple to do. Right. And yes. what, these are ways to help the body get rid of the garbage so it doesn't have to work them out. It's just flushed out. Mm -hmm. That's very, very good. One other thing that you can do, last one, is t uh, baths. Uh, um, I know some people like to shower, but two or three times a week, get in the bathtub and put two or three cups of Epsom salts into your water and soak for at least 20 minutes. Another one you can do is a cup or so of baking soda. And those mm -hmm. are simple ways, not expensive, that can flush, help the body again, get rid of toxins. I've had That's so many good. people say I feel so much better after a detox bath. That's good. I love that. That's very good. Mm -hmm. So tell us about um, skin rashes. Sometimes people, when they're detoxing, they'll get some breakout of the skin. Does that mean they're allergic to plexus? Good no. <laughs> That's a great question. I'll you the answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? What they always say, anything on the skin is, is coming from within, which we know. Mm -hmm. So one of the body's ways, sometimes if the liver or kidney or colon are backed up, or if the body is just trying to get rid of toxins, it'll push it through the skin because that's one of our biggest eliminations. It has spots. to go somewhere. It does. Mm -hmm. And if you're constipated, you're more likely to have skin yes. issues because the toxins have to go somewhere. Yes. So. They always say the skin is kind of the body's last ditch effort. Mm -hmm. But um, so, so things like breaking out in a rash once you start plexus, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> there you yeah, go. Why is it awesome? Why is it awesome though? Because you, you, your goal is to get better. And so if the body can get rid of these toxins that are making you sick, isn't that awesome? Right. This is temporary. Um, this it's is temporary. temporary. Right. Yes. So hives, um, um, skin issues, rashes, eczema, those are all things to get excited over because it's a physical sign that you're healing. Right. So what you can do is the, the things that we, that we listed before, body cream helps to pull it out with the activated charcoal uh, sooner and helps the body get rid of it. Um, if it's too bad, just lower the dose again. Let your body catch up. Do some of these detox methods right. and slowly work yeah. back up again. It's going to pass. But look at it as a visible sign of healing and be excited. Yeah, so to summarize, not nearly everybody has all these symptoms we no. talked about during detox, but... We educate our people. If it happens, it's okay. We know what's happening. It's, Say actually, hallelujah. it's actually a good yeah. thing in disguise. Mm -hmm. And the big thing is that we support our team through this. Yes. I have seen so many people where it was the support that pulled them through. Yes. If they had not had that, and somebody that came alongside them and said, hey, you can tweak this or that to make yourself more comfortable. We actually know what's happening. You're not allergic. Yes. You're not dying. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. And we can help you. Yes. Um, that has made all the difference. And I have lots of friends and family by now that um, the ones who you know, did feel sick, they pulled through it, and they now feel better than they ever have before and are so grateful. They did mm -hmm. not give up during those maybe two weeks, maybe a month or whatever, where they felt off. For some people, it might be a few days. Yeah. So again, it's not to scare anyone. No. Not everybody feels that way, but if you do, 
it's totally normal and we're here for you. It, it is exciting. It Look is. at it as exciting. It is. Absolutely. You know, All right. Something's happening. Yep. Exactly. So hopefully that helps you guys and we'll talk to you later. Have See a good ya. day. See ya.